Hello everyone. I hope everyone who's watching here today is having a great day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before I start, I'd like to say welcome to all the new subscribers and everybody who's returning. I hope you're having yourselves a great day and welcome back to YouTube. Okay, it feels like I haven't been here in forever. <laughs> I'm not posting as frequently long videos, but I, it's not, I'm just exaggerating. But okay, I, I I hope in the meantime, you guys are still doing good, y'all. So, by the way, stick around, guys. I want to tell you something about, tell you something that happened to me. I got hacked. Okay, so here I am. I'm having a dumb moment. I'm cleaning up my phone, making space to delete old videos, okay, on my phone. But then it looks like I'm having a deja vu or I'm losing my mind what just happened i just deleted this clip why is it still here could it be a duplicate uh, i i just checked i check everything and then i'm like no 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 wait let me go to the deleted folders maybe i didn't delete it as i thought i did okay i go into it i'm like wait these are two different colors the one i deleted was pink and the one that I have right now that I've just discovered is yellow. And that's the one that I, I'm like, here's the stupid clip. I, I didn't lose it. I didn't delete it. I was just, I confused the two colors. I don't know, somehow in my messed up mind, I confused the two colors when uh, I was uploading to edit the video. I thought I took both, but it was just the one. Okay, I did find the, <laughs> the video. And then when I opened it and I saw the stickers, I confirmed that it, that's the video. It's the video I promised you guys that I was going to do a five, five minute video of. Turns out to be a 25 minute video. <laughs> and I tried to trim it down to like less than 20 minutes. But it seems like it has to be almost 20 minutes long. But anyway, um, but here it is as I promised you guys, without having to re-record anything else. So I'm going to be doing a lot of talking, but you can continue looking and watching. And also another thing I forgot is that in the previous video, when I showed you guys the, um, the, the, the stickers, yeah, these stickers that I said I was going to do a video of, I forgot that I also had molding gel. And so when I was looking at this video again, I was like, by the way, I had molding gel. And they come in 12 different colors. Okay, um, this is me talking to you guys about my life. So if you are not interested, I will be so understanding of you if you click ahead. You may go ahead right now. Um, where do I begin? So, I just want to quickly apologize about my last video. I remember that I did mention in the video that I was coming out of a couple of days of being heavily medicated. And so when I was listening to the video again, I sounded so out of it. It sounded as if I was high or I was just not sounding myself. I didn't like that. Anyway, I, I wasn't high. Just know that I wasn't high. And that's something I... I don't think I would bring myself to do, you know, but who knows? Time will tell. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened, right? I mentioned that I was sick, what, 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 but what I didn't mention, because I don't know how I, I forgot to mention this. this. This was scary when I remembered that I didn't tell you guys. This is what happens. It's a Saturday morning. And usually every, every morning, my morning rituals is I wake up, I brush teeth, I eat. I meditate and then I open my phone or laptop or iPad or any technology colly thing it happens only after I've done those things like ritually <laughs> religiously so I check everything and then the one thing I don't usually check are my emails because I don't receive anything of any importance um, as emails just these um, companies that are advertising and they are forever bombarding your mailbox with new special 5% off 90% off all that so I hardly ever check my emails so on this day because I got nowhere to go I'm feeling down I'm feeling ill and all that so I'm like let me check everything okay I open my email so 
I'm like, it tells me I got a message from my bank. It says I withdrew 200 bucks from my account to buy airtime. I'm like, what the father? Me, airtime for 200 bucks? Never. I don't ever, ever buy airtime for 200 bucks. So obviously I sit up. I do a double take. I decide to call Hubby. He was outside. He had a customer. I'm calling him urgently. But now my phone is not going through. But anyway, I find a way to call him. He comes over quickly. Immediately, he blocks my bank account. He says, it looks too suspicious. Just block it just to be safe. Okay, he blocks it. Next thing, we go and find out from the bank if maybe I misread the email or maybe I misunderstood it. It just doesn't make sense. And then the idiot, by the way, whoever took the 200 bucks used his cell phone number as a reference number so i tried calling that number my phone doesn't go through again so i decided to reboot my phone switch it back on still nothing okay when we get there um the the lady over there tells me that uh yep my phone and my account were hacked and they only took out 200 bucks because they just wanted to test and check if um, what they were trying out was, you know, if they succeeded and if it went through. And then from there, they were going to go to to town with my bank accounts and who knows what else they would have done. So the bank that I bank with, right, um, it sends you notifications on three different platforms whenever your transaction is a hundred bucks and over they send you a, a notification on your app they send you an sms and they send you an email so i asked this lady how come i only got an an email because i could have maybe caught this like a lot quicker how come like the bank didn't send me an sms that's when I got the biggest shock of my life. She says to me, you did get the SMS. It's just you didn't get the SMS. They got the SMS because they have your number, your phone numbers. So which means they are using your phone numbers to gain access to everything of yours. So she says quickly, go to your um, uh, cell phone service provider and they will know what to do i'm like are you serious right now are you serious right now is this happening to me okay i get there i tell them i only tell them that i want to do a sim swap because i just want to have access to be able to phone people and gain access to my um banking app and because they've been working there for so long, they know all the questions to ask. So I thought I'm saving myself the trouble of having to explain it again to someone else after I had already explained it to the lady at the bank. And they're like, mm -mm, we need the detailed explanation. So I tell them and they're like, oh, see, it's not as easy as you think it is. It's not a matter of you just doing a SIM swap because if we do the SIM swap, whatever messages you're still going to get are still going to go to those people, the scammers. So you need to go to a police station, go write out the affidavit statement, tell them uh, what actually happened. You bring that letter back here to us. We submit it to the head office so that they cancel your number on whichever cell, uh, SIM card it's on. And whatever new SIM card we're going to provide you with, with that number is going to be your number. So they didn't change my number. They just canceled any card that had my number. Yo, when I tell you, my gods, my angels, my everybody who was looking out for me that day came through for me that day. I never knew how tough it could get when you get hacked because I was like, I don't ever want to go through this again. The amount of walking I had to do that day while not being myself i don't know how i managed to even get everything done because i was mostly not even myself it was almost as if i'm walking next to me i i wasn't myself because i was still you know heavily medicated but this needed to be done 
Anyway, I've spoken too much, you guys. And I'm still busy with these jowls. But anyway, maybe I must just cut it. Because whatever I'm doing right here, right now, um, it's actually a conversation that I'm having with Harvey. Anyway, um, you can fast forward through this. I'm done telling you guys about my frightening experience, horrible experience. And I hope that no one ever goes through this or has ever had to go through this. It is no joke. And I'm sure I didn't even get like the 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 least bit of the frightening stuff because it, i was just lucky like what were the chances of me even opening my email because i was like i don't ever ever expect anything from my email i just go there so that i take away that you, you know that round red circle that comes on the app that sits there that you have so many notifications sometimes i go into that app just to remove that so that i know that i don't have anything outstanding that i need to go through so i was doing it for that but then when i saw fnb i'm like why do i have an fnb email when i don't have an fnb um sms notification anyway um that was me that day and i just quickly wanted to tell you guys i'm sorry about the way i was on the previous video and while I was talking to you guys on that video, I forgot to mention this most important thing. And please, guys, be careful. You know, the, the sad thing is that these people, they don't care. They don't have a conscience. They don't have empathy. They don't think about who will be affected in which way. Because some can be severely impacted. And they don't give a damn. As long as they get what they want, when they want, whatever the cost the, whatever the cost is they won't be there to deal with it so it doesn't bother them and you know what's the sad thing about us we think that because we would never do anything like this to other people so i think we live in in naive was in being naive thinking that it could never happen to us because we didn't do it to someone else and we could never do it to someone else so it won't happen to us but this was just a clear sign to show that everybody no one is immune no one is safe no one can say it won't happen to me but yeah be careful guys all i can say about my experience is in in, in, in direct translation of that means I escaped from the mouth of a crocodile. <laughs> so I'm just thankful and grateful. 200 bucks was all. And when I was waiting for my turn to be served at the at my cell phone pro service provider place, I, 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 I was behind someone who was mentioning his story. He said he got uh, hacked and they took 400 bucks from his account and he's like an old man to to these old people 400 bucks is it's not fair it's not fair I, like and nothing will happen to them they all of them all over the world they get away with it because they are they are faceless it's it's just sad and it's I like to see karma taking <laughs> taking effect on people when you know when they do wrong and that's what's gonna be sad that when karma gets them no one will be there to witness it anyway first time I'm talking for this long non-stop ridiculously long um, I was thinking if this video was gonna be too long um, when doing voiceover then I don't think you guys are gonna be getting a, uh, a fun fact but well, there's still some time. Let me give you one that will be a little bit more uplifting. Did you know, fun fact, did you know that cows moo in different accents depending on their place of origin? Okay, everyone, thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye. I hope you have yourselves a great day further and you take care of yourselves and your loved ones until we meet here again.